hello everyone so in this video i am going to tell you about the dermatological investigation that is what in, uh, what we use in the in, during the investigation in the dermatology condition so first one is the wood slide and the other one is the wood slam so wood slide uh, we used the wavelength is around the 362 to 364 nanometer please remember it it is previous year question that the wavelength used in wood slide is 362 to 364 nanometer and the wood's lamp filter is made up of nickel oxide plus barium silicate and nickel oxide contains almost around the 9% so nickel oxide plus barium silicate now the other in is done by the wood's lamp so wood's lamp is used in infection or in the uh, under, or, uh, first it is used in the infection so infection like fungal infection and corny bacterial infection so in the infection the first one is the tinea capitis which will uh, tinea capitis in which the microsporum will looks like blue green in color while the trichophyton shonlaini will looks like blue in color so this is the image of the tinea capitis here we see the blue green color so it is a microsporum so this is the tinea capitis in which we see microsporum or trichophyton Shonleni. Now, next one is the Tiriasis versicolor, which is a superficial fungal infection. And on the woods lamp, it shows the yellow fluorescence, and it is more common for the Malaysia globosi than the furfur. So, in this image, as we see this yellow yellow color, so it is a Tiriasis versicolor. Now, the other infection is the Erythrisma, which is caused by the Cornibacterium minutosmus, which is caused by Cornibacterium minutosmus and in this under the woods lamp it shows the coral red fluorescence it shows the color, coral red fluorescence and why it shows coral red fluorescence due to due to the corporphyrin 3 due to the corporphyrin 3 and here we see a coral red fluorescence so it is a erythrisma now the second condition first one is the infection where we use the woods lamp second one is the pigmentary disease and the third one is miscellaneous conditions in which we cover the two conditions so here in the pigmentary disease we have the, all known that the pigmentary disease were like ash leaf macule vitiligo or melasma ash leaf macule is seen in the tuberous sclerosis and vitiligo and melasma these were the three pigmentary diseases in which we use the woods lamp now the second third one is the miscellaneous condition in which first we cover the porphyria cutanea tarda basically in the porphyria cutanea tarda what will happen there is the defect in the enzyme that is uro do please remember it due to defect of this enzyme we see the pink color of the urine we see the pink color of the urine and what is the full form of urod so urod stands for uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase due to this enzyme defective the urine will look like pink in color so this is a porphyria cutanea tarda so next condition is erythro congenital erythropoietic porphyria congenital erythropoietic porphyria which is also known as gunther's disease which is also known as gunther's disease so in this we look uh, the teeth will appear like red in color so that's why they were known as erythro means red donkia means teeth red teeth were seen in congenital erythropoietic porphyria and it is a autosomal recessive condition please remember it that congenital erythropoietic porphyria is a autosomal recessive condition and it, the other name for erythropoietic porphyria is gunther's disease so this is all about the woods lamp and woods light i hope you get benefit of this video thank you bye bye guys